Okay, now we're back at the valve body area where we're about to take off the manual valve linkage. That's the last thing we're going to do before we uh, swing this transmission around so we can take off the valve housing. Position the camber. Let you listen to a, a little shop talk as I take these bell housing bolts. Speed sensor inside the triangle pad. There's no speed sensor inside. What? I'm all solenoid. There's got to be something that's spinning for a speed sensor. It's got to spin. Whatever it is. Wherever it's at, it's got to be a speed sensor. Is a is something that that speeds up, that revolves. That's a speed sensor part. Part. Cadillac's almost got it in there. What? Cadillac. What? Remember how to drop that one down? Take the side cover off. You change the speed. CVT. Beat up shit. <laughs> Wait a minute, you couldn't say that on a camera. Bad word. <laughs> I'm gonna bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they make your videos, they bleep all the unbolting and bolting and all that shit out. <laughs> yeah. Make them think it's easy. Yeah. Well, they did it 30 minutes. <laughs> they went to a commercial, come back, had the motor in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look bad. We'll see. He complains. Chain drive pump in it. That was it. No, this is a pulley. He complains. But he's not having reverse at the same time. 
reverse electrical or manual? It's the same. Okay, now we take loose the uh, transfer, take the transfer gear out, put that to the side, after you heard all that shop talk there. <laughs> um, next is, this is a differential, we're going to move that out the way. Then we're going to move... The shield is a, a cover. It just snaps in because we're going to be taking the pump gears off. So we'll move that shield out the way. The pump gears have a little snap ring. That pump gear where I'm on, you have to take that snap ring out uh, in order to take the gear off. Uh, you'll see what it looks like. So you're going to need snap ring pliers. And this is what it looks like. Little snap ring there. So set it to the side where you don't lose it. And then you pull up the gears. And the chain. Now this is what drives the pump. Now there's one thing I do, um, if I want to make sure I'm putting something back the same way, I'll take the grinder and I'll put a mark, as you see right now, put a mark there. Now, the thing about this, make sure when you're putting a mark on something, you're not putting it on, a sur on, an, on an area where a bearing rides or a washer rides, because then you messed up. So that lets me know to put it down. There's really only one way to put that gear, but I do this a lot anyway. Um, then you take the, the bolt out of the way so that you can, that's a, another washer that is, but you take the bolt out so you can get the uh, other shield out. That's what I'm taking out, look like it is. Now I'm taking out the pump bolts. See, here is the shield. Those two pump bolts go in and the shield. That's the bottom cover rather. Set those to the side. Now there are, I believe there are two more. Oh, down. This holds down. This bracket holds down the filter the internal filter now you will see this filter you see how it sits first of all the bracket sits on that filter like this the key on the pump and on the filter to make sure that it stays in I hope you get a good you can see that very well now about this filter Many people come and say they would like to have their filter changed. You cannot change the filter in a Saturn View uh, CVT transmission without taking it out of the car and taking the whole case apart like I just did. This 
this is the filter. So here you get to see. So if you have a problem, you get changing the filter. <laughs> you have to uh, worry about something else. Now, if you see that little metal there, uh, it's letting me know something is ground up. Now, he, his complaint is that he has no reverse sometimes. Sometimes the reverse is gone, so I'm looking for some damage now that I can see that metal on that filter. Now, the next thing for me to do is try to get this pump out. So I got two boats here. Ah, these are the last two that's holding the pump down. Now this pump is going to be very hard to take out because it has a seal there. You're going to see me go through uh, many, many type of ways to try to get this pump out. Right. And you're going to probably run through the same thing. Now I'm going to put some vice grips grab the pump uh, by the areas where the vice grips will grab <laughs> and I'm gonna twist and turn and twist and turn sometime I get it out easy sometime I do not but once I get it to move a little bit then I'm able to to, to get it out but I'm gonna take some time to do this and let you see how long how much problems it takes to try to get this out because you will probably go through the exact same thing if you're trying to get out now I'm taking a pump out because I like to examine things I like to see if anything down there uh, if anything's broken in there uh, some people may not take it out if you can go to a situation and you're just repairing it like I am I mean I have to take it out but I like to take things out because I like to go through as much as I can now I'm trying to tap it Don't tell me to do something, I will do it. I'm going to 
fussing I finally decided to get a slide hammer and put it down at the bottom of the fin there and try to to get that out after I had loosened it a bit now we're going to move on <laughs> to part three see if we can find the problem 